Hey everybody, so this is Pixton EDU, a fantastic program uh, that I use in my own classroom. And so today we're going to talk to you about how to set up your own avatar, and you'll see me here. Uh, and the reason why we do that, I'll show you. Uh, once you and your students have set up your own avatars, you can view your class. And so you can view your students, and so these are a bunch of my students. Um, and you can kind of see that they had some fun with it, the cowboy hats and things like that, and that's fine. And then also what's awesome is at the end of all this is you create your own uh, classroom uh, avatar. Actually, my daughter's in here, <laughs> my two daughters and my son kind of snuck in here too. So these are different things that you can do with your classroom, um, and it's really great. So you can edit your avatar, or you can kind of click up on your avatar up here. Um, and if you click on here, um, you'll see all the different options that are here, skin tone and hair color and face shape and lips. You can spend a lot of time on all this. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Um, and you go through all these different things, even here, the pose, um, you can go through here and click on serious or, you know, the typical teacher pose of here, I'm going to teach you, um, or you can kind of do the more relaxed pose here. Uh, it's completely up to you. There's lots of different things you can do um, and have a lot of fun with it. And then once you're all done, it really won't take you that long, although some of your students will spend a lot of time on this, and that's okay too. Um, then you just click on this arrow, and then there's me. Uh, this is my avatar, um, and what's great about this, the setting up your virtual avatar is uh, he's about <laughs> maybe 60 pounds lighter than I really am, so you can have a little bit of fun with it. Um, but, but the thing that I will caution on is, and I talk to my students about this, is you have a lot of different options, but you want to be careful of cultural appropriation. Right. So you want your students to have fun, but you want them to be true to who they are and to maybe not tread on other people's cultures. Uh, in other words, if you're not a Rastafarian, perhaps, uh, or you're not from Jamaica um, or you're not from Texas or you're not from if you're not Jewish, uh, you know, there's different things that you can put on yourself. Um, you want to be true to who you are and not put those things, those accessories on your avatar that aren't really who you are. If they are who you are, great. Have fun with it. Maybe if you want to dye your hair, sure, that's not going to hurt anybody. But just a piece of advice from a teacher who's done this, and I've talked to my students about it. Um, you just kind of want to preface that coming forward. So when you have that class photo, everybody's taken care of and everybody's okay. If you have any questions, let us know.